I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. And right now we are meeting with Aluchi Okamiri, who is the Teacher of the Year for the Sacramento County Office of Education. Congratulations. Thank you, Tim. So, so tell everybody a little bit about your, your classroom, your school, um, and what you teach and the type of students that you work with on a daily basis. Um, I work with students who have severe disabilities. Some of these students have very mo they have multiple handicaps, and I have 12 students in my classroom. I also have three paraeducators that work with me, and basically, we these students we have a program that addresses both their academic needs and their. Um, um, developmental needs and whatever challenges they have. So in our classroom, we teach everything from basic life skills, independent, independent living skills, to academics. So and we go, we go by the level of the student. Some students are very high fu functional, and we tailor their uh, instructional program to meet their needs. Are, we also have students who are very low functioning because of their disability, because of the severity of their disability. And we also tailor their academic programs to meet and address that disability. That way, we help every child to be able to achieve something. And um, we help them also to learn to live life. So life is practice, so we teach them to practice living life in our classroom. Some of them come with no skills at all. Some of them come with even the eat, they do, do not even have eating skills, for instance, how to hold eating utensils. So we go that low to make sure that we address those needs. So you have classroom. really a wide range of students and skills all at the same time. Yes, we do. We have students who, who can read a few words. This is how severe their disabilities are. We have students who can read a few words to students who are nonverbal. And we use a lot of um, adapted equipment. We use a lot of technology in my classroom. Um, we make sure that because some of our students have poor fine motor skills, even the computer in our classroom uh, has um, touch screen devices where children can just touch the screen and they can access educational programs. So we make sure that um, we have things like uh, gate trainers. Some of our students are uh, non-mobile. They cannot stand on their own. So we teach them to stand. We teach them to walk. We teach them to talk. So we just teach them from the basics to um, the highest, mm -hmm. if there's anything like that with that population. So, so with that student population, uh, for them, uh, what might be a, a small accomplishment for us, for them is a huge accomplishment. Yes. So what's that like for you as, as their teacher to see them really accomplish something that's really major for them? We have learned to celebrate every child. You know. Since I started teaching in this classroom, I have seen I don't take anything for granted. I do not take anything a child does as, oh, he can do it, because there are children who cannot do it the way we see do it as you know, adults and people who do not have uh, disabilities. So it could be just teaching a child to learn to say a sentence, for instance. I have this student in my class who we know that she has a lot of things bottled up in her, but she lacks the skills to express them. So we started by teaching her how to position her lips to say certain words. We started with just simple good morning. And it took weeks for her to say good morning. And we taught her, we modeled it, and one day, she, without us prompting her, said good morning mm -hmm. to one of us. And we were celebrating, we celebrate, and now she not only says good morning, 
she, when she comes to class, if one staff is absent, she will say, where is this person? So for us, for other children who are typically developing, it's no big deal. But for that child, it's a huge improvement. It's an achievement. Mm. So how did you become a special education teacher? Was that always in your plans? I wish I could say yes to that. <laughs> you know, I had, when I was in college, I had my, my wishes. I wanted to do the, you know, be in those professions that I considered very glamorous. And I did not want to do anything about teaching because I also grew up in a family where there are many teachers. I did, did not want to be a teacher, period. So I went into journalism, into print journalism. Uh, but when I came to the United States in 1995, I had three young children. In fact, I had a baby three and a half weeks after I came here. Yes, and then I had two more who were under the age of seven. So at that time, somehow teaching started getting into my priori priority list as a professional. So I wanted to teach because I wanted to be able to be around my children also. But I didn't know what to teach. I didn't know, you know where to start. So I said, OK, I'm going to just try my hands on substitute teaching. So I started doing substitute teaching and um, was liking it. And um, didn't quite know whether to teach regular ed or special ed. And then one day, I went to teach at a school in the Sacramento. I won't mention the name of the school. I went to teach at, uh, they called me as a resource specialist to be a substitute teacher for the resource specialist. And I went into the classroom for the first time. It's a pull-out program. It's kind of a learning center kind of uh, setting. So when I went in there, um, students came in groups. So this particular class came, the first group, and they did very well. I had no problem. And they left. And the next period, the second group came. And when they came, they were very rowdy. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't sit down. They wouldn't listen to me. I tried to call their attention. They wouldn't listen. So I did not know how to handle them, being new in that kind of uh, setting. So I just I said, why are you guys acting the way you're acting? One of them said, I know, I know. And she said, it's because you're not pretty. I could not, I, w I didn't know what, how to react. Uh -huh. So I tried to recollect my thoughts and just to brace myself. I said, really? She said, yes. And she said, do you know our teacher? I said, no. She said, oh, she's so pretty. She's got long hair. She's this. So she went ahead to describe their teacher for me. And I said, hmm, what's your teacher's name? She said, Miss Somebody. I said, now what did I say my name is? She said, Mrs. O. I said, you know, I can't be like your teacher. We cannot look alike. Um, and besides, I did not come here for a beauty contest. <laughs> I came to help you to learn to read. And if you can learn to read, you'll be happy and I'll be happy. And then she started, they were listening. The rest of them, when she said that, it was like, oh. Mm -hmm. she, so everybody kept quiet and they were listening. And I said, you guys know what? My kids think I'm the prettiest mom in the whole world. And they said, you have kids? I said, yes. So we started talking about my kids. And, and they happened to be at, you know, I had one that was at that uh, grade level. So everybody settled down. And we finished that period. They weren't misbehaving anymore. So at the end of the school day, the principal came to me and said, uh, do you mind subbing for us for the rest of the school year? I said, OK. And I was thinking, how will I confront this class again tomorrow? Mm -hmm. But because I needed the, the, the stability of the job, mm -hmm. I wanted to have a place to go every day, I said, sure, I'll do that. So I went back. Do you know that that second period group was the best group? I, 
I subbed in that school for seven months, and they were the best. And they were the best behaved, they were the best in everything. So I said to myself, I said, you know what? I am going to teach special education because I think children need people who understand them, people who be patient, people who can tolerate them, and in that way, help them to understand their world. Mm -hmm. Because if I wasn't patient with them, I wouldn't have seen the good in them. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I said, I'm, go I'm going to teach special education. And because yes, of that, now you're the Teacher of the Year for the Sacramento County Office of yes, Education. Yes, and I'm, I'm happy about that. Well, I'm very, very happy. Well, congratulations yes. to you, and we appreciate your time. Thank We've you been too. speaking with uh, Aluti Okamiri, who is the Teacher of the Year for 2015 for the Sacramento County Office of Education. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.